Good day everyone, it's Max, and welcome to my Minecraft Land of the Lost Tutorials. Uh, over time I've been playing my LOTL series and my Iron Man series. I've been asked by my viewers on how I do certain things, or where ideas come from, or even just some general questions, and I'm hoping that these tutorials are for them. Uh, so first a big thanks to my viewers and my subbers for uh, these tutorials tutorials are a dedication to them. Uh, credits uh, for today's innovators and inventors of Ethos, DocM77, Pear Squirrel, Static, Minecraft Attic, Roboticus, and uh, many of their viewers who have uh, provided many great instructions to Minecraft, uh, along with Necromar, who is, uh, I consider, probably one of the fathers of early Alpha Redstone tutorials, and has provided the map which I will be using in my tutorials, and to Coprin, uh, who provided a great invention of double swing boosters, which before powered rails, uh, that was just a great invention, and uh, I I have credits and props to him. Uh, these tutorials I do will never be as intense or as great as those mentioned, uh, but I try to design these tutorials uh, around the true beginner who are just starting out in Minecraft and by laying out circuits and steps in a much larger format than what you'll see in many tutorials. Uh, uh, of course, I'm very impressed by how some of these players can actually make circuits work in just like one or two blocks. Uh, that's definitely not me. Uh, but my circuits will be laid out and function, so as even new players just jumping into the game and want to design some really cool things, uh, will be able to do so, and I can explain it out in a very efficient manner, and they can be easily followed. Uh, finally, be sure to check the video notes uh, for all the links to the names mentioned uh, earlier, along with information to different mods, wikis, and forum posts, which I may have used during the video in the tutorial. And finally, I want to thank everyone who's been watching all of my series, and including these tutorials, and I hope you find them uh, informative and help you a lot in your worlds. Uh, with that, let's have a look to see what I'm doing today. Okay, today's tutorial is on three track or more switching, and this is if you're running a single line of track and you have more than two destinations and require a switch or some sort of hub type network where you can actually get your cart to change from one line to another line. And to do that, we need basically two principles. One, Somehow, when you're coming from a particular destination, you need to be able to stop temporarily to make a decision. And then, second, you actually make that decision, then get to your proper destination. And we're actually going to do this in a couple of different tutorials. One tutorial is going to cover the three track switch, which is basically what we're looking at here. And another tutorial is going to cover a four or more port hub. And that's when you have a line coming in and you have more than two destinations. Uh, you may have three, four, or five destinations to actually go to. And the trick here is, of course, is that when you stop temporarily, we don't want to get out of the cart. Uh, the, the, the big trick there is, of course, is that uh, when you get stopped and you want to make this decision, a lot of people will build um, train stations or something to that effect where you get out of a cart and you get in another cart and you take off. And that's always been one of my biggest pet peeves in, uh, in Minecraft, I guess, is that I always wanted to be able to come down a line stop temporarily and then make a decision and then continue down the line without ever getting out of my cart. And uh, so that is what we're going to be covering with uh, this tutorial and some others that I have coming up. And today's tutorial uh, covers what is called the SFD or stop for destination. So part of the issue is of course is before you can actually change this track we have to get stopped somehow so as we can make a choice and to do that we are going to put in what is called an SFD track or stop for destination track 
Once we've got that setup done, then we can actually talk about how to make this into a switch type track where you can actually change this from left to right and back again while having enough time in your SFD, your decision maker, to then make the appropriate choice to either go to one place or another. So with that, I am going to run over to the proof of concept ground to actually show you what this will look like. Uh, the, first of all, the SFDs will look like and how they function. All right, so here we are at a simple uh, three-point juncture, and as we can see here, we want to either go left or right at either one of these directions. So either this direction, that one, or this one, you may want to turn right or keep going straight. Of course, here you'll want to turn left or right, and here, of course, you'll either want to go straight through or turn to the left. And before we can actually talk about the switch itself, we actually have to get stopped here temporarily so as we can make a choice. Uh, after that, of course, then making the track switch is the next thing we work on because as you can see the problem with just using a button or something to that effect is that the button doesn't last long enough it's only about one second so this is how we're going to fix all that so this is what is called a stop for destination track or SFD and the way it works is is that when you're coming in from a destination you actually come in here and then you temporarily park in the block this will allow you time to make a decision and then after you've made your decision this would have a delay on it and we would then be able to continue with our journey right through our decision and then on the other side of the SFD once you've come through the decision process you don't want the other SFDs to actually stop you so they just come around and they will automatically propel you because they have an automated track button here which then of course electrifies this um, this powered rail and you'll just continue right on down the line so first in the concept to show that how this works so we'll put our cart here on the track and jump in now of course the trick here is, is that we never want to get out of the cart before making a decision so I'm gonna come up here so I'm leaving my first town and I'm going to my second town and here we come into the block so here we are we're in the SFD now and if I actually had a track switch mechanism set up I could now sit in my cart make decisions uh, decide which way I want to go then when I made that decision, I would just then push the button and I would actually go through the intersection and the other SFD just keeps me right on going. And as you can see, it didn't even slow us down any. We just continued on as if it wasn't even there. And that's exactly how it's supposed to work. Now, building an SFD is actually pretty easy. When you take one of your three directions in this case, though we will be using SFDs for all my uh, track switching tutorials, uh, in this case for the three track switch, you come to one end of uh, your start of your line and you make a little L shape off it like so. So we're pretty close to the switch here and we can make this little L shape coming off of that off a couple of tracks and this just allows us to measure out the SFD uh, properly. So now that we've made a little L attached to the track, we can now put in three power tracks skipping one block. So then one, two, three. Now the track coming in from the other de destination here. Uh, so now you have your track coming up to this and once again stopping one block short we now want to make a little L shape here and this now has begun the makings of our SFD. Now each of these tracks on either side you're going to run this, the tracks right up to the end of the power rails like so now when it comes to coming in from a destination uh, basically we'll want to put a track here and when it comes to leaving your switch we'll want to put a track here but first we're gonna put two more power rails in on either side so now it's five power rails long on the inbound to the switch we just put down a normal track and on the outbound from the normal switch we put in a pressure plate track now we finally just take out the middle track here put in our block 
for our booster block. And using 1-6, you can actually put a second block right on top of that, and then you can just put your button on that top block. If this is version 1.5 or lower though, you will actually have to build it a second set of blocks beside the first block and then put your button on that and put a piece of redstone down below. And this of course is because until version 1.6 came out, you can't hit buttons directly on behind you or near a block. So this allows version 1.5 and lower to actually make this function. And in 1.6, and above, of course, we can actually hit the button while standing right beside it, so we don't need that extra two blocks here and the power uh, redstone here. So we push the button here and it works. Okay, so with that, we're now ready to give this a test. And just so as we can do the test, I will manually switch this track to go the other way for now. So here we are back at our first town. And in this particular case, we're going to be coming in from our first town and let's say the switch is working properly I have buttons for it and everything and I'm now in the SFD block I then make my decision to go to the town on the right and not straight ahead now I push the button behind me and sure enough I go right around the SFD and it propels me onward on my way and that's exactly what we want to see so SFDs or stop for destination tracks are basically just pocket holders which allow you to then make a decision on any type of track switch whether it's a three-way switch a four port hub a six port hub whatever type of switch you've got and once you've made your decision because each track needs an SFD on it we don't have a problem coming around the back end because the pressure plate automatically lights the power rails up for us and we just jetty off to our other destinations. So with that and the night falling, uh, we'll consider the SFD done and now we can use this to then do our next part which is a three track switch. For now, this is Max, signing off.